Hello, it's Markham Torch here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be applying shape keys to a character, as well as doing a little bit of weight painting. Now, this character here is rigged with Auto Rig Pro, so there is a link in the description if you want that. This is the best tool for rigging characters. Now, if we click on the mesh of this character, we can see that we don't have any shape keys whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we get weight painting right. So at the moment, if I select our rig, we go up into pose mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up his jaw. So let's just go GZ. And you can see that we've got this horrible distortion in here. So let's just go into object mode. I'm going to select the body mesh and I'm just going to press hide on that. And here we can see our teeth and mouth just all over the shop. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything that should be attached to the head. So obviously the top gums and this top row of teeth. So if I select this, 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 and just go around selecting the teeth. There we go. Let's just make sure we get everything. Now that I've clicked on everything, I can press control L to select everything that's linked. And it looks like I've gotten everything. Let's come over into the vertex groups. And I believe the bone that we want to attach this to is called head. If you don't want to go looking for it, we can click the little drop down and sort by name. And I'm going to assume that we're going to have a head somewhere. Head X. So from here, what I'm going to do is with the drop down, I'm going to go remove from all groups. There we go. So now these vertices are not attached to any vertex group. Now that I've got everything that's selected, I've got our head vertex group selected. I'm going to press assign. There we go. And with all these as well, I'm going to come in and let's just select all that. Control L, select everything that's linked. This will be our jawbone. So once again, let's click the drop down and remove from all groups. There we go. And then did I grab everything? I sure did. Let's come over into jawbone and assign. There we go. So that's looking a lot better. These back teeth are no longer warped. So if we go back into object mode, I'm going to do Alt H to unhide. And there we go. That's looking a lot better. Obviously, we need to clean up the inside of the mouth because we can see that the, the inside of the mouth is going through the teeth. But that's fine. What we can do, as I'll just quickly show you, is I'm going to assume that the inside of the mouth here is attached to the jaw. So we can actually kind of go into a weight paint up here in the top left. Oops, sorry. We can select their body mesh, come up into object mode, and we change that to vertex, uh, weight paint, sorry. Let's go down and find our jaw. So let's short, sort by name again, jawbone. I'm just gonna kind of guess that's what's attached to. There we go. And we can see the how much of the inside of the mouth is all attached. From here, I can go up to the top and where it says draw, we'll change to subtract and I can kind of draw around here and you can see that the top of the mouth is starting to go back to where it should be. So this is how you can go around the whole face and just quickly update all that. And obviously if we want to assign these to different meshes, we can just select different uh, parts of the body, um, middle finger, we can see it highlighted and you can actually see how much weight is on each vertice. So back into object mode, let's select our rig. Let's go to pose mode. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset everything. So I'm gonna double tap A, Alt R, Alt G, Alt S. So Alt R is reset rotation, Alt G is reset location, Alt S is reset scale. Let's go through and create the shape keys. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna select the corner of the mouth here. I'm gonna press G and move it up. And that's kind of our smile. It's a bit of a wonky smile, but let's just go with that for now. I'm gonna go into object mode now, select our mesh. From here, we're gonna see that we've got no shape keys. I'm gonna click on the modifiers. And what I can do now is apply as shape key. So we can see that everything goes away. But if I come down here, we have our basis, which is our default mesh. And then we've got our rig. This is the one we will rename to L underscore smile. So for instance, now if I change this value, we can see that we've got him smiling up and down. Now this is the really important bit. We've got the mesh selected. Let's come back into here, add modifier armature. And we know we've only got one rig. Well, we've got the rig and then we've go, we've applied it. Now this bit is really important. Listen to me or you will lose lots of work. Listen to the next bit, please. Don't do what I do. Don't do what I do, do what I say. You listen to the next bit, it's important. Make sure you remember this bit. Click on the rig, go back into pose mode you need to reset the location, the rotation, and the scale. So Alt-R, Alt-G, Alt-S. 
because if we were to have left that, when we come over here and kind of do this, this bone here would have stayed. <laughs> and then when we go back into the modifiers and apply shape key, we can come down into the shape keys, this armature, and we can see that we've got that double smile. And I think if we add that one, we go even further. So that's not what you want. So you have to remember to select the rig. Let's go pose mode, select everything, Alt R, Alt G. And obviously we set ourselves up for the next one. We go into modifiers, add modifier, armature, rig. Uh, once again, we can go into pose mode and we can do stuff. Now, another important tip. Oh my goodness, another important tip. Did you hear me? Another important tip. Is you have to remember that sometimes we will have things, sometimes you need to have two meshes that you need to apply it to. So for instance, if I go G, there we go. I'm just using this as an example. I'm gonna go into object mode. I'm going to select the head, apply shape key. And we've got our shape key down here but I also need to click on the teeth and go into modifiers and apply shape key. And now you can see that to make this jaw move, so let's just go into shape keys, the teeth stay there. So we now are gonna go into the teeth as well. And that's why it's really important you've got to apply the modifiers on both. And obviously once you've done that, you need to go back in armature, select our rig, there we go, armature, select the rig. Now, the reason why it's gone a little bit berserk is because we've got our shape key here set to full. And so it's kind of like doubling that movement. So once again, we go back into pose mode, Alt R, Alt G, Alt S. I can't stress that enough. Don't do the mistakes that I do. Don't. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. And if there's anything else you want to know, please let me know in the comments below.